right? So I'm glad. By the way, did you know that Canada is also a great wine producer? Mm -hmm. And we went to talk with wine specialist Sandy Ward to learn more about this. Take a look. We're at the Boiler House restaurant in Toronto, and I'm with a Canadian sparkling wine expert, Sandy Ward. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Happy to be here. Thank you. I would love to know everything there is to know about sparkling wines. You've come to the right place. Where are they produced in Canada? The main two wine growing regions are BC and Ontario. So almost all of our sparkling wines are produced either in BC or Ontario. What are we looking for in a good sparkling wine? If you're comparing two sparkling wines, mm -hmm. you can really look at the size of the bubble as an indicator of quality. The smaller the bubbles, the better quality that sparkling wine is going to be. It really comes down to your taste though. At the end of the day, if you like it, it's better for you, but when you're just trying to judge quality, the tiny bubbles are a good way to decide. What's the difference between champagne and the sparkling wine? That's a great question. For a wine to have a designation of champagne, the grapes have to be grown in France in the region of champagne. Otherwise, you don't get to use that name. But remember, every champagne is a sparkling wine. Are there different types of sparkling wines? I think the most common that people differentiate are the regular sparkling wine and the rosé sparkling wine. To get that rosé color, the grape skins stay in contact with the juice just a little bit longer to give that nice pink color. The pink sparkling can just add a certain edge to a nice romantic evening. To add an extra element to it, you could also saber your sparkling wine. Back in the days of Napoleon, they opened wine by taking a saber and chopping off the top of the bottle. And that's romantic. Once you see it, you might think it's romantic too. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.